and welcome back to Reaction Cast. It's your host Jesus, aka Tyrant Domius, here to give you another movie review. This time around, we're going to be talking about Spy X Family Code White. For their first family vacation, the Forgers travel to the snow covered land of Freegis. <laughs> Careful wandering off. We don't want you getting lost. It's a special night, so I think it's okay for Anya to stay up past her bedtime. That trip? You must retrieve the microfilm without fate. Ended up holding the fate of the world. I'll see you in hell, baby. Would have gotten them all if they weren't so fast. They're not moving, Anya. So, yeah, this is an anime movie review this time around. Uh, we're getting a, a Spy X Family. I'm currently in the middle of watching season two, so I'm a little bit, like, offbeat. But luckily for me, Code White is its own, like, offshoot movie. Uh, so you don't really have to worry too much about the context of what's happening of the show to get an idea of what the movie's about. So this one's like an original screenplay to my knowledge and I I'm excited. I'm excited because it's still produced by Wit Studio and Cloverworks so you're still getting that style of animation and it's a very like I would say it's a very simple simple story uh for for everyone here the uh, family Folger. <laughs> to start out the plot seems pretty simple <laughs> once again um uh, the Operation Strix is kind of on edge because Anya still needs to get um, get basically the Stella Stars and she's having issues here. And some uh, there's a lot of a little bit of marital problems between Yuri and Lloyd. So there's a lot happening. I would say the movie is like a small arc. It could be considered a small arc of the show. And I think that's the best way to put it. And so th the general idea is <laughs> Anya has to create a dessert for the principal. And so they go on this adventure, a town over to kind of find the perfect dessert for the, uh, for the principal. And along the way, you know, spy stuff ensues and, <laughs> you know, it's spy family. Um, so if you're, if you're already a fan of, of the series this movie definitely is along the lines uh because it's still the same same old same old nothing nothing over the ordinary uh definitely just brought to the big screen there's nothing super like i i don't know how to best uh, say it there's nothing like grand about the movie that really like like gave me that what's the best way to put it? that ooh a spy x family movie <laughs> you know it's a it, because i enjoyed the show the show is a you know it's a simple like spy action comedy so it has a little bit of everything it has some action it has some espionage and it has some goofs and i think that's what's fun it's a kids it's a kids uh show um it's it's made more so for that so but it has some uh, like intriguing stuff to it um that's why i i especially enjoy the series but i was hoping a little bit more from a movie based um uh anime mostly when it has a decently concurrent uh show behind it like i said it's it's not bad it's 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 a small arc stretched out and reasonably animated i would say it's it's a decent story but and some of the sequences they use some of the action sequences are underutilized and some of the fight scenes for a animated film it was all right but i wish they did a little bit more for certain characters it just it felt lackluster in that sense like it was cool, but I wish they put a little bit more because I, I might like I said I'm only halfway through season two, but I felt I've seen some more intense like action sequences in the first season and ha my halfway through um, than the movie had. It has like a couple, but I 
for a movie based anime I'm, i was hoping for a little bit more um but you know it, it was all right it was nothing too outrageous i think that's my only like really hiccup with the film i think that's the yeah it was just the underwhelming amount of of just the un- underwhelming amount of possibility for the film there are there are certain scenes that are elevated there are some fun comedy scenes that are like definitely like elevated for the, the big screen um definitely a a little bit longer poop joke than i thought we were gonna get and you'll know what i mean when you see it but uh it, it had us laughing in the beginning but it, it it stayed a little too long and i'm like okay like sure um and then it's just yeah it, it's a fun movie i like the i like what they were doing with the some of the interactions like i said the film really just emphasized a small arc and i think that's really the only thing there's nothing real cohesive like that would be interesting to just be of the movie like its own little little tale like you could probably forget this movie ever existed and it wouldn't have mattered to the spy x family um franchise you know that's kind of the sad thing there's some movies definitely that are side stories or even like non-canon movies that are cool and you relive them but this one is definitely could have just been its own little arc um but i enjoyed it i like i said i had fun watching them what i recommend people to watch this if it's still in cinema if you're a big spy x family fan i would it's fun to see the family on the big screen and just seeing them um like that 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 was just fun to do um but the everyday person not so much even a casual fan i would i if it shows up on some streaming service i i could i would wait um but yeah if you're a real big fan of the show i i would recommend at least one watch but yeah those are just my thoughts let me know down in the comments if you what you guys thought do you did you watch this did what were your thoughts do you plan to watch this or it's like, I'll just wait. So yeah, thanks again for listening or watching. Until next time, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya.